Hey guys, welcome back to Spill the Bean Podcast. I'm Carla and this is Rob. And today, my boyfriend has a little word of motivation for you guys. And it's get up and go after it. We hit the treadmill right now, so far 30 minutes in. This is your sign to go hit the gym, you guys. I'm going to kick it back to Buck and Jonathan on the podcast. Bye. What's up, gang? Welcome back to another Spill the Beans podcast. I hope you guys got your workout in today. And if you didn't, what the heck's going on, girl? The couple at the beginning of the video sure did. <laughs> Don't forget to send us, wait, through DM? Yeah. On Instagram, Spill the Beans podcast, JJ. Send us your videos, working now, going on a walk, your active activity of the day. And we'll put you on the podcast. Yeah, the couple at the beginning, guys, sent it to me last, last week. As of many of you guys probably noticed, I, we didn't have one last week. And that's because I forgot to send it to our editor. So my bad, guys. But couples that work out together stay together. That's a proven scientific fact. 98% of couples that work out together actually have a better divorce rate. Just kidding. I just made that oh up. Oh, my but God. I'm assuming that's true. Oh Anyways, guys, uh, welcome. Happy Friday, babe. I love your shirt. Where'd you get oh it? Oh, my God. Spill the Beans podcast merch. This is our Vaquita merch, guys. It is so freaking cute. Franco, every time I wear this, he just points at it all day, nonstop smiles at it. So this will be restocking very soon. Again, if you want to know the deets, this is an extra large. It just gives me more fab fabric to work with. And if I'm bloated, you can't even tell. Oh, yeah. You didn't answer my question, though. I said, where'd you get it? Oh, I got it. I've been... Shop vibeandco.com. No. Go somewhere. Vibeandco.shop, babe. Thanks for knowing your own website. Shop. Sorry, babe. I Guys, we're coming out with, with that it. same design, but in different colors. It's going to be a baby blue shirt. Super freaking cute. Well, I say baby blue, but it's technically dusty blue, dusty blue or ash blue. Dusty. Or it could no, be either. No, it's dusty pink and ash blue. Oh, oh so sorry. So it's not coming out in pink, but that's another shirt we ordered. Stay tuned, stay tuned. But anyways, ash blue and black. And if you want the exclusivity right now we did um do some tweaks to it right babe guys i think about i'm thinking about just giving spill the beans people that follow spill the beans instagram and a vibing co instagram just the exclusive deets. like yeah. blanca doesn't let me she's like no you should make it even in the same but no people that follow those two instagrams should have priority right right am i right you know, because once blanca posted on her she has you know almost three hundred thousand uh followers so it's like no, let's give, you know, I think we should, if you follow Spill the Beans Instagram, you should get a little bit of a, like, heads up before, you know? Yeah. Because a lot of you guys are working, and you don't check your phone until later, and then, gracias a Dios, you know, by the time you check your phone, we're sold out, so, you know, we want to give you guys a heads up. Let me know if you guys think that's a good idea. Okay, so you want to tell them what happened? The deets? Yeah, guys, unfortunately, so we got to change tones here a bit, very, very quickly, but I think... You know, for us, it's 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 heavy. Well, more for Blanca. Like she was, she In was shocked. I, it's like she saw a ghost. I was literally. Let's run over the scenario. Yeah, I was in the garage. It was I last was, night. Last night we were. I was in the garage, pack, uh, taking shirts out of the plastics, and you know, putting them from small to extra large or whatever. What I always do when we get a new shipment of shirts in the garage, and then all of a sudden, Blanca walks in and she's like. Babe, you won't or what? Like, take it. I, I literally let me go back. So we, I was showering Franco, and his bath time is like his favorite time. So I really have to just sit there and stare at him, right? So usually while he's sitting in the bath, I go through my Instagram, go through some stories, and last night I should have not done it while I was showering him because the first thing I see when I go on stories is a picture of. Carlos Parra. If you guys don't know him, he is the lead singer in Los Parras. And he, so this group is kind of, I don't know, like nostalgic to me in a sense, because through them, so I saw them years ago. I think it was 2016, right? Mm -hmm. It was years ago when Perdidos de Sinaloa was popping and they came, but Los Parra actually opened for them. So th through them, I learned the song Gente de Accionar. And I always thought that it was them that like, wrote it and sang it but i didn't know it was grupo codiciado so anyways that's like super nostalgic to me because now when gente de accionar comes on i'm like it reminds me and it takes me back to like seeing los parra perform that years ago so i never i wasn't like a diehard fan either like I, I did keep up with him with them somewhat but more with carlos because if you guys don't know 
he um has a girlfriend her name is Lilian Griego and I wa- follow her on YouTube I like keep up with her on TikTok and stuff like that so that's like it, it was kind of like um they were influencers to me and then he was just like so happened to be the singer of the lead singer of this group so the first thing that it pops up on my Instagram stories is a picture of him and then like with the white dove and like the the little the, the black the wings and then the black ribbon and i was like shut the hell up dude i click on the post from los parro oficial like their instagram account and it says like we're just here to tell you guys that we had an accident a car accident and carlos died i was like i i kid you not my heart sank and I just stared at the photo in shock for 10 minutes straight while Franco was taking a bath. I was just sitting there like, there's no way. Like, there's no way. And yeah, sure enough, guys, I literally picked myself up. I put him to bed. And I kind of like, while he, I was putting nursing him to sleep, I was like looking on... Um, google like googling his name and like yeah it was confirmed that they had gotten in a car accident and that he passed and i was i was in shock i kid you not because the way that we, jonathan and i were talking about it today is like these like celebrities in a sense seem so untouchable or like just people themselves seem so untouchable we feel untouchable like we're immortal like we're here forever and just the fact that like for me, it was so heartbreaking. And I was like, I cannot imagine his family, his twin brother, his mom, his girlfriend. I was like, how, you know, like I could not imagine what they were going through. And even that made me more sad. So yeah, I ran downstairs. Thankfully, Franco went to sleep super fast. I ran downstairs and I'm like, babe, I'm shook. And then he's like, what, what happened? He was just, you know, sitting there listening to a podcast. And I was like, carlos parra died like he died in a car accident and then yeah i told him all the deets and then it was just like you could feel the garage it was just sad just quiet yeah yeah guys that was crazy like (sighs) i i i i hadn't been on my phone in like two hours because i was listening to a podcast and it was a lot of shirts so i hadn't checked my phone and then obviously as soon as i opened my phone everything's about him and i was like damn Mm. that's so sad like his girlfriend, you know, there's a, I didn't know, but there was rumored. I, I saw an Instagram post with her, like, but I, I guess she was just promoting a ring. But it turns out that it was true that there was a rumor they had gotten engaged or yeah, something like that. Yeah, they had like just that. recently gotten engaged. I don't think they had had time to announce it yet. Um, And it's just, oh. And they were on their way to the brother's birthday party and. Yeah, I guess they were like heading to Sonora, Mexico to celebrate their oldest brother's birthday. And. Like, I was telling Jonathan, he had just turned 26 years old in January. Like, he, you know, like, he had all these plans. They were, they, I think they had just gone on tour in Mexico. And it's just, like, the fact that he, like, it was so, un, like, I don't know why it, like, hit me so hard. But I was like, holy shit, like, he passed, you know? I just kept thinking about his t- twin brother and, like, oh, my God, their grupo. Are they ever going to be the same? Or You know, they're never going to play again. I don't know. It was just, I don't know, even still today, since everything is still about them, today, like, I think his brother posted an Instagram story, and today, every single time I open my Instagram, I'm like, how can I just go on about my life? Like, how do people just, like, post this in Paz Descanse, like, R.I.P., and then just post normal stories after that? For me, it seems so, like, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like something I want to do, so... Yeah, I've just been super sad all day checking up on their Instagram pages, Instagram accounts, and just thinking like, pobrecita su mamá y su novia, you know, and obviously, especially his twin brother, that they were Damn. honestly inseparable since birth, you know? It is so sad. Every time I think about it, I literally tear up because I'm like, it just brings everything to. ¿Cómo se dice? reality check. yeah it's like a reality check like nobody is here forever mm. you know and just in a blink of an eye you can be going on a trip you can be leaving your house barely and like something's gonna happen you know yeah. so yeah guys that was but so sad. the reason we wanted to talk about this guys or bring it up is obviously to pay our respects and love towards the family and him because he was you know i knew him and i, I loved his music but blanca was even closer to them because you actually kept up with their social media and the and the girlfriend and the relationship and stuff. But it's also like we're not a breaking news channel, guys. We're not a cheesement channel. We're not here to tell you. No, the reason we're doing it is like that to show respects and to to kind of talk about it. And maybe you're having like a shitty week. Maybe you're fighting with your mom or your dad, your sibling, your boyfriend, your your girlfriend. And you're like, and it's just, we're just here to tell you that that does not matter in the long run. 
like who like there i saw this thing on tiktok and it was like the husband they had a newborn and he was so you know like the newborn was very colicky and he was crying a lot and stuff like that so the him and the wife at night they got into like a bit of a fight and they carried on to the next morning so he leaves work without talking to his wife still and he gets to work and the co-worker like hey i noticed you're different like what's wrong and he tells him and then the husband's like i don't know when i get home i'll, I'll see if i can try to talk to her about it and then the co-worker's like wait repeat that like what if you don't get home and then the guy's like what do you mean like when i get home He's like, no, like, you're not going to get home. And then the guy uh, finally understands what he's talking about, like what he's trying to say. And it's like, we just say like, oh, when I get home, I'll talk to my girlfriend about the problem. When I do this, like, I'll tell my mom, you know, I, I'll say sorry for what I said to her previously in the morning. Or like we schedule these things like concerts in August. Oh, my God, like we can't wait to watch Beso Pluma in August. We can't wait to do this in October. And it's like, no, like who guarantees you you'll even come home or even go down the street from your like house you know so it's just to put everything into like we set a reality check and kind of show a little bit of love more this week or just this day you know what i mean yeah if you're listening to this just be grateful that you even woke up today you know that's what jonathan and i were talking about this on our car ride home today we're just like nothing is guaranteed in this life like just a simple fact that we wake up and it's a new day that is something to be grateful for and i feel like we always take that for granted we're always like yeah we're gonna wake up tomorrow and yeah, we're gonna go to sleep you know so it's like that's that's where everything comes in like with all your motivation and like it, getting things done you know how people are like oh you say you're gonna start on monday you're gonna start next month it's like no start today you know do what you want to do today and like that's where all the live like it's your last day sayings come and it's just super reality check and i think that the reason why this hit me so hard was because to a lot of people like let's let's put i don't know like let's say russ right he's yeah. an artist he's like a celebrity and i see him i listen to his music and you know i love his music but like with carlos like it was crazy because we saw such a different side of him you know like there's a side of him him performing his music videos his music but it's like we saw how loving he is to his mom because they have a youtube channel we saw how um their relationship as brothers are and then we saw his other side with lilian so you know like i felt like there was such a connection to him so i'm like if it felt so hard for me which is why i keep saying that i am even more heartbroken i was like if that's how i felt with the news i cannot imagine the people that actually had a relationship with him that actually yeah. knew him personally so it's like i don't know it's just been a super super dark and deep realization that i've been making since last night and i'm just like even everyone on tiktok and their instagram posts like please tell me this is a prank please tell me this isn't true and it's like all these people don't know him personally and are still hurting you know so it's like imagine his actual loved ones how they're going through it so yeah just you know make sure you don't take life for granted it's like you driving right now going to your job going to school dropping off like maybe you're so mad that you woke up at 5 a.m today even though you wanted to sleep in you're super tired your baby didn't let you sleep like you're alive and you're breathing and you're driving you're whatever you're doing like that is such a gift you know yeah and i think it's everything is all about perspective guys yeah. and and if you just feed into the like it's monday monday suck like like the girl, the lady at the grocery store today, our cashier, she was like, hey, Mondays, Mondays suck, you know. And I really wanted to tell her, like, no, you know, I see Mondays as a new beginning, but I didn't want to burst her bubble. But I was like, you know what, like, just the fact that you're breathing and living is a miracle on its own. You know, like the fact that you're born and stuff and you're healthy and you can walk is one thing. But like another thing, another little dicho que he visto, it's like there's this guy, he's like a billionaire. He's talking to a random guy and he's like, how much would I have to pay you? How much mon amount of money would you want today? But tomorrow you don't get to wake up like you die today at the end of today. And then the guy's like, I don't know. And then the billionaire's like, I'll give you 20 billion dollars. The guy's like, no, like, no, I'll give you $50 billion. Like, no. So the point is, like, you're, I'm sure a lot of you guys are on the same boat as this guy. It's like, your day, you waking up tomorrow is worth more than $50 billion. Does your, that make sense? Your life is like priceless. Like, your, your life is priceless, essentially. So, like, if I give you a briefcase, briefcase full of $100 billion, you would not take it if that meant you wouldn't wake up tomorrow. 
Um, so it's like value your life more than just like oh, on my way to my shitty nine to five or my kid, my husband pissed me off. Like, like just a little change of perspective for you guys. And, and yeah. Yeah. It's like the other saying, instead of being like, Oh, I have to do this. You wake up and you're like, Oh, I get to go to the gym. I get to go to my nine to five because I have a job that makes, brings me money. I get to take my child to their appointment tomorrow. I get to take them to daycare because I have a healthy baby. You know, like if you start changing your mindset, then it's going to be so much better for you mentally because it's like you don't know it until you go through it you know but why wait for a tragedy to a tragedy to happen for you to be grateful for life you know just start today and be grateful that you're alive and breathing and tell the people that you love that you love them you know because i that put it into perspective it's like you get all these scenarios like you know what if you like the most common one is like you fight with your spouse and they go to work and then they get in a car accident yeah you know and it's like such a dumb fight that isn't gonna like it could have been resolved easily you know so it's like that's why they say don't go to bed mad don't let them leave mad you know just if it's como dice el dicho if it if it's not gonna matter in five days like don't let it matter now or something like that i don't know guys but, but that's it's also like deep. so essentially guys yeah don't take any like what's that other one it's that's really simple when it's like you don't know what you have until it's gone yeah and it can be so simple as like like i remember it's like oh when your nose is clogged and you have a cold <laughs> yeah. and you're like oh like i can't i took my my nose like breathing normally yeah. for granted right and it's like little simple stuff like that but also like on the obviously the big, bigger scale your spouses and stuff but it's 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 like health guys and i know we promote fitness a lot on here and it's like you know it's to motivate you but essentially it's like like appreciating your spouse and not letting them leave or mad from the house is like a short term thing like something you can tackle right there and then but like i the same as the nose being clogged and you taking your when you were healthy for granted it's like on a much broader scale and on long term scale that's why we we make these efforts especially me because i was like i was pre diabetic you know and like who says in five ten years i eat the same i could have gotten some you know i still can you know but i'm, I'm at least my risks have gone down about like a severe disease a tumor or something developing from unhealthy habits and it's like that like uh i was talking to my grandpa the other day it's like a healthy person wants a thousand things you know we want everything and then a sick person only wants one thing mm. and you guys obviously know what that is so um yeah don't take your health for granted right now you're like oh yeah i'm too lazy to go to the gym lazy guys you're lazy that's like a concept in your brain is to be lazy it's not a real thing as opposed to like i have something in my leg a tumor i'm on a wheelchair i got in an accident i have this that doesn't let me lift you know like you just have laziness so change that please yeah and yeah basically don't take life for granted because it's not forever you only live once literally yeah but with that being said guys we just wanted to tackle that here at the beginning and pay our respects and kind of give you guys some little motivation for this beautiful friday but don't worry we're not going to let you go into school into work with kind of like a you know a with heavy the, heart with the heavy heart we're gonna lighten it up with some advice we have a lot of advice that you guys have submitted i feel like the more we do advice podcast the more we dms we get which is phenomenal we love it so I think we're going to get lighthearted here in a bit and now tackle some advice questions. What do you think, yes, I think we should. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's episode. You know, these days I barely have time to use the restroom without Franco literally knocking the door down to see me. So I do not have time to be cooking and planning and doing any of that extra stuff. Especially as you guys know, we've been on a super health kick. Just like I I don't know healthy meals off the top of my head. You know, being from Mexican descent, we didn't really were taught to cook the healthiest but thanks to HelloFresh, that has all changed no more scouring the grocery store for that one ingredient to complete your recipe HelloFresh takes away all that hassle by delivering fresh pre-portioned ingredients so you have exactly what you need and helps you cut down on food waste HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25 percent cheaper than takeout no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps I love HelloFresh because they are super creative with their meals. No matter what kind of protein source it is, they always make it in a creative, fun way to eat. 
And I love HelloFresh because they make healthy taste great. So you will not know that you're eating a healthy recipe because it tastes that delicious. Go to HelloFresh.com slash SpillTheBeans16 and use code SpillTheBeans16 to get 16 free meals plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash SpillTheBeans16 and use code SpillTheBeans16 for 16 free meals plus free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. If you have already sent advice that has been read, don't forget to update us. Like even in the comments, everyone's like, we need an update, girl, because this is juicy. So if you have an update from the advice that you sent in, please let us know. DM us, DM us. And I think on Instagram DMs is nice because we'll see the previous dm and then the update yeah you know which with email is a little bit harder unless you click on the same email blah blah but yeah go ahead and get started babe. so shout out to the girl right here boom picture of a golden retriever puppy said puppy advice update he finally came home this week thank you for that girl beautiful puppy look Can you how see him? cute he is or she is i don't know <gasps> oh my goodness oh he's so cute golden retrievers are just the pinnacle of dogs guys they are Golden Retriever puppies are freaking cute, man. Mm. But the hair, my God. It's okay. a pelo. Okay, guys. Starting to get into some advice. Hi, love you guys, and I hope you can help me. I'm currently in an almost three-year relationship, and we are in high school. I love my boyfriend a lot, but he's never bought me flowers. It might sound dumb to you guys, but he knows I love flowers, and I practically beg him for flowers. I always cry about it because I don't even want a Ramo Buchon. I just want some flowers. Even hand-picked ones would make me happy. I've told him that. What should I do? That's crazy. This I chose this one, guys, because to her, to anyone hearing this, you're like, Ay, girl, flowers? Like, come on. My husband hasn't given me a kiss in 20 years. Oh, but, shit. like, you know, it's like, no, it, it's the deeper than that. It's because she, know, she knows that he knows that they mean a lot to her. And that she begs him for them, girl. And he knows that she would just some ham picked ones, you know. I'm blind. I'm buying flowers for Blanca over here, even though she doesn't like them. <laughs> I low key do like. No, them, you babe. don't. I like the the fact that you get them. Guys, for me. her, her mom just... comes over <laughs> and starts putting them in vases and stuff. <laughs> She's like, you Lisa, you know, les echa su yelito to come back to life. Because if I buy flowers for Miss <laughs> Blanca over here, she just lets them die. <laughs> I'm not very good at keeping flowers, but if you bring me a chocolate bar, yeah, you know that. You kill that. Chocolates? Mm. Yes. Yeah, I think it's crazy because we're always like, well, communicate with your spouse what you like, what you love, but it's like she's literally begging him mm -hmm. for flowers. Girl, like, at that point, where's look, my what, merch? What I'm going to say, yeah, leave him, sis. <laughs> leave him, that sis. That does not sound... <laughs> Again, you guys, might, you're going to leave them for some flowers. No, yes. it's not the flowers. It's not the <laughs> physical thing. It's the, the fact that she's expressed herself for something so little. No le está pidiendo casa. No le está pidiendo carro. You know, like flowers. And the fact that what makes you think if he can't give you the time of day, because you guys are still in high school, correct? Mm -hmm. If he cannot give you the time of day to give you some flowers, girl, right now. What makes you think that when you graduate, when life gets real, life gets hard, he's going to give you the love and affection you deserve. He's going to give you a house over your head for your future children. He's going to give you, you know, what you need in order to have a happy life. If he can't even give you flowers. Yeah. And it's like, like you guys probably are looking at us like you guys are so fucking dramatic. They're just flowers, but they're not because it goes deeper than that. And it's like they say red flags aren't just red flags. Like, oh, yeah, they're going to get better. No, like you have to pay attention to these red flags, you know, and I, it's just the fact that if you love someone and you know some, doing something as simple as picking a flower from the ground and taking them to her house is going to make them happy. Why wouldn't you do it? You know, I feel like a lot of it. Look, something came to my brain right now, babe. <laughs> a lot of people confuse red flags with red situations, like red problems that already happen. A flag is something you start to notice. You start to, no matter how little it is, it's a flag. It gets flagged, you know, as opposed to like a lot of you guys are like, oh, he hits me. Red flag. No, that's not a red flag. That's already like a emergency situation. <laughs> a red flag would be like we had our first argument and he punched the wall. Oh, yeah. that's a flag not when he already punched you does that make yeah. sense so a lot of you guys might be like oh how dramatic he's not buying her flowers no you don't understand that's a flag like that could that little that's a little seed that could you know explode into a yard full of weeds eventually because like i said he can't give you flowers in high school he can ask let's say he doesn't work you guys are really young or whatever 
hey, papá, me da 20 dólares para llegar al Safeway y a comprar unas flores, you know, or something like that. Um, so that is what a red flag is. It's catching something super small, you know? Yeah. Damn, I never thought about it like that. <laughs> yeah, babe. I know a lot of girls don't, or a lot of people. You think a red flag, oh, oh, sis, red flag, he hit me, he cheated on me. No. The That's red flag, the cheating situation. isn't a red flag. It's the he starts to put his phone down like this when we're eating and he puts his phone on do not disturb that's a flag okay not damn the babe cheating. you're for the girls girls yeah, just for kidding the, you're for the red flags <laughs> I'm, for the, I'm for the truth i already yeah, said this know. you know oh my god can we tell them okay so can we tell them we met a couple oh, <laughs> like yeah. so we met a couple this weekend and it was so funny because the guy sits down and he's like so you're the one getting me in trouble with my girl <laughs> and it was so funny because it's like for I feel like back then, let's just put this in a situation where we were still in a toxic relationship and I was listening to a podcast of this guy telling me like, no, that's like, leave him sis. Like, and it's a guy like coming from a guy. Like you would be like, ah, why the fuck are you watching that? You know, like mad at the guy instead of being mad at you for all the toxicity. So it's like, that was so funny because obviously he was joking, but it's like, Por eso me exigen tanto en la casa. but yeah. it's like, Jonathan really out here making sure that your standards are high because not because he he's perfect, no. but because he's been in these situations where he knows how the guy's brain works you know and he knows like he knows everything and he knows how toxic that guys can be as well as girls but like he's just coming from his situation yeah you know? or like yeah i'm not trying to pick i'm not I'm, i hate i truly do not like guys i've had friends they're old friends because of that that like kiss too much ass to girls i do not like that either because they're just either one trying to get in their pants by kissing ass or they're just you know trying to be that like pick me guy whatever and i hate that too so it's just like con hablándose bien y claro like se entiende todo yeah you know en un jarrito cabe todo todo cabe en un jarrito Dijo mi abuelita <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. my turn Hello, I need your advice. I, I might be a little too toxica. <gasps> okay. So me and my boyfriend are about to turn three years in July and have a seven-month-old. I've never found anything bad on his phone, and I think I'm pretty good at checking. But there was this time that TikTok told me to check his watch history on TikTok. And I found that he would watch multiple videos of girls specifically in underwear twerking. Holy. Oh, my God. I understand maybe one video popped off but he would go through their whole profile and watch multiple videos with same content. I didn't tell him instead. I kept watching his watch history every couple of days and that's what pretty much his history and every single day with the same two girls showing the body and making sex positions. Just I don't the know. Same two? Yeah, I don't know if I'm overreacting. What should I do? Overreacting, girl? So, wait a minute. What? So there's a watch history on TikTok? Yeah. There's a watch and then a like history? I didn't know that. I just thought there was likes there's like what so is it like a screen record like she said then he went into her profile i'm confused so yeah basically because with youtube there's a watch history right like yeah. it will be on there even if you don't like it or save it or download it or whatever no. but i didn't know there was one with tiktok i didn't either i know i did hear about i saw a tiktok that said girl like something like if you want to your watch history but wouldn't your watch history just be your for you page so like just check his for you page no, there's not. Look, there's the, the like your likes. Okay, is your TikTok updated? There's your reposts. There's your saves. I have a I no. I found it. Watch history, but look, it's just wait. My where you go to settings? <gasps> Watch history, <laughs> but it's it's your for you page essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So look, I have no. I just, but she says that. Okay, so, so I think this? yeah. So where do you go, babe? Okay, so, oh my God, there's a freaking watch history. A ver, tú no tener vatos encuerados ahí. Yeah, it's TikTok. like you're for you. So if you want it, oh, I guess. Oh, so I guess what she's saying is that she, okay, so pretend. So I guess, look, say she clicks. It's a naked baby. So Franco. say she clicks on the, like he, this pops up uh -huh. on his for you page. So I guess what she was seeing is that then after this one, it's all of her profile. Oh, that's a little sus. I was like, what do you yeah, mean? Girl, you? I thought oh it was like a screen God, recording. You just opened my freaking, girl, for all my toxicas out there, watch Damn, history. Babe, so you now if you don't like it or favorite it, you can still see Damn. <laughs> Bro, where was this when I was trying to catch you red-handed, babe? I guess. But look, it's like. 
Yeah, it's it's your for you page because it's like yeah, the TikToks guess, that you yeah, watch, but yeah. it's like also your for you page as well. But it's like because look, mine has girl like you know a normal girl, but obviously like it's better. Ah, see, si. it's our friend Betty, but obviously Not, then okay, so it's better, right? Let's see. Let's say I okay. was a oh, bad click, guy. Click on it. Like click on her profile, and then just go through her TikTok. I. Okay, one. But uh, he's good. He's giving you these views, girl. No, just Two. go like this. Oh, like no, this? like click on it. Oh. And then just go. Well, watch it. Okay, how long do I have to watch it for? <gasps> <gasps> oh my god, my story is just full of badness. <laughs> my watch is. Oh my god, conspiracy debunked, oh guys. Wait, debunked yeah. or yeah, confirmed. Oh if you, god. oh my god, girl. I got nervous and you're just watching me. Why are <laughs> no, you I nervous, mean, like, little whore? Well, you're not hiding nothing, but you're still like... Okay, you know. so you go go on your TikTok or your man's TikTok. Damn, And babe. then no. you press the three... Guys, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Up here. <laughs> Please. You go to settings and privacy and then you scroll down. Wait, where is it? Oh, to comment and watch history. Wait, you can see comments too? Yeah. Oh my god. Okay, so go to comments and then you'll go to oh, watch history. Mine's a horror, friend. And you will just see the history of the things that they've been watching. So say like, okay, it's it's common that maybe on your for you page it will pop up a girl twerking, right? Yeah. And if you just swipe, then that'll be the only video out of all the videos that are on your watch history. But if you click on her profile, you're not liking it, you're not favoriting it, you're not saving it. You're still watching But them. you're still watching them, they're gonna pop Damn. up, my girl. Fellas, and that's hey, Toxica 101. Fellas, I'm sorry, <laughs> but fuck. Babe, you better clip this and post it on TikTok. Fuck. That I is feel bad. so I feel crazy. bad because there's going to be a lot of arguments after this shit. Do you remember? Oh my God, do you remember? When was it? It's like, it, it brings me back to your close friends on Snapchat. Yeah, no, but remember in 2020, I remember this day perfectly that it was when the... um what was it the link your activity your activity yeah, came uh -huh. up on instagram and so many people yeah. were like getting in trouble ah, for that you check mine yeah. i did check yours you know <gasps> and i didn't even know about that one about me checking no about that oh, activity i'm like i'm pretty sure i checked it in front of you <laughs> no like that activity thing. damn tiktok hey tiktok Get your shit together because my boys TikTok's out here can't cheat in peace. <laughs> TikTok's for the girls. TikTok's a girl's girl. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, yeah. It's because I feel like girls. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. No, Nobody's safe. I, I feel like that girls do get a pass though. Like girls are easier to be like, let's say Juanito goes over to Maria's phone and she sees that. And it's like, I was just curious. Like, so she's Mosa, you know? For a guy, like to yeah. be on a guy. But what would, what would girls be on? I want to see what he does for work or whatever. You know? Like if he's handsome and has a nice car. Like, oh, I just want to see what he does for work, you know? Because mm. you know girls be fucking doing that shit. <laughs> oh, so what girls that you know of? You did that once, babe. I remember. I'll expose what? you. It was expose a long me. time ago. A long, you still lived in your trailer parks. And you, uh, you opened your Instagram in front of me. And you had this guy, a good-looking guy, searched up on your Instagram. And I was like, oh, like, why are you searching this guy oh, up? And I then you're remember. like, oh, it's because I heard that him and his kids get oh, broke up. Yeah, and, I, that's and you were nervous. True. And you're like, I, it's good. And I'm like, I got okay, caught I didn't trip. But I was like, if that would have been a girl, yo también soy chismosillo. You know, obviously I have a podcast. Then <laughs> I, I would, and I'm Mexican. I would be like, hey, I want to see if this girl, you know. And so. If this girl what, though? Exactly. Ah, right? No, but it's different with the girl because I remember that time there was like rumors going on. So I went on his Instagram search uh -huh. channel because I needed to see if these rumors were true, my mm. girl. What? That's so, yeah. crazy. I guess I guess it's kind of different though because I, obviously maybe there are TikTokers out like that, but do you know of like guys that are get naked or like dance shirtless in no, front babe. of cameras? They're not on my for you. They're on Gabe's for you page though. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you exposing gay? They're all mandos for you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so freaking crazy. Yeah. Anyways, um, what, what were we saying? Talking about? <laughs> Anyways, oh, the question. oh Did you so yeah, but we didn't give her advice. We were just shook that there was a watch history on TikTok. How the hell? No, TikTok. Oh is yeah, you did finish. Crazy. Okay. Anyways. So she's mad that that his watch history is like he he'll be go he'll be going through TikTok. It's a little curious, and then. But the thing that tripped me out, it's the same two girls. Yeah. 
And they're not famous? I don't know if they're famous. She didn't say, but she says that they're like half naked in sex positions twerking. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. I think, tell him. I think Be like, you ain't slick, my boy. Yeah. Because if you just like, if you just let it go, like you're always, it's always going to be in the back of your head. Like, oh shit, he's watching these things. Not liking them, but like watching them, you know? Yeah. I think you should cut it early. Right now it's a little weed that, First of all, you're going to cut his maybe obsession or what could lead to an obsession, a healthy yeah. one of these girls. Or, you know, you he just stops because you obviously have kids, right? She uh, said she seven, seven month old. Yeah, and so. it's just like the way that I think about this, a lot of people, I feel like a lot of people would go into this being like, well, I don't want him to get mad because guys will do this. You'll be like, oh, I saw your watch yesterday. They'll be like, really oh, why are you through going my through my phone what's yeah. privacy you know so it's like no you guys are together you have a seven month old and you don't reserve the right to like look through his phone and his private stuff but it's like if you see you know so yeah. yeah i think you should tell him be like you ain't slick my boy show me your watch history he's gonna be like what's a watch history i'm like oh <gasps> open your yeah. tiktok right now babe we just got so many people in trouble right now you did I was trying to, you know, cut it right there. But <laughs> Hi, guys. Saludos desde California. I need your advice. I've been seeing this guy for the past seven years. It's never been official. He tells me he loves me and everything I want to hear. But as soon as he meets someone, he pushes me to the start and starts seeing them. He has done it twice already. Bombastic side. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he has done it twice already. One of the girls even got pregnant. Oh my god are you fucking kidding me right now <laughs> once that doesn't work out he comes back looking for me i really do love him but i'm oh. tired of it i stop myself from meeting new guys because of him because i still have hope that maybe one day it will be official between us what should i do anything i should tell him or should i just block him without an explanation thank you blanca and jonathan why are you wasting your time precious years seven years seven years and he got another girl pregnant girl and you're still here hoping that one day you'll be official listen we're not here to make fun of you or seven judge years you. that's almost more than us <laughs> but be fucking for real girl you are not supposed to be doing that no but you're you're too good for that why are you wasting your time with girl, this it hurts guy me that you watch this podcast and you're doing that yeah have i not taught you better come on come on my girl we want what's best for you and that is not listen we're not what let's cut it short just ghost him girl block him on everything block him, girl. there's block so him. many freaking people in this world and you're telling me you're stressing over a guy that you're you've me been seeing yeah. for seven years in seven years you could have met a papi chulo with a hell of money traveling the world freaking being treated like a princess over a guy that's getting girls pregnant and still oh coming God. back to you girl no girl do not degrade yourself like that you're worth more than that he is not worth your time or your love period yeah are you kidding me block him and never talk to him again but if you love him stay oh my ah, gosh <laughs> <laughs> at this point love isn't enough girl get out of there yeah that's not love that you're obsessed that's infatuation did they teach you guys the difference if not search it up or lust okay <clears throat> Deja de me. how are you guys doing oh we're doing amazing thank you for asking me and my boyfriend have been together for five years he has never been the type to be romantic or buy me roses side eye side note side note i moved in five months into dating oh no no within the first year of dating i was diagnosed with cancer oh my gosh oh my this God. man had a 360 change he became more romantic opened the car doors for me held my hand in public bought me roses etc he would take me to all my doctor's appointments and would never miss an appointment now i'm three years into remission and he is back to his old self non-romantic sometimes i wish he would still treat me the way he would when i was going through my chemotherapies i always try to communicate it to him and i tell him that i'm not asking for much he is such a wonderful man and all the bills are always paid and he even made me stay at made me a stay-at-home girlfriend jonathan how can i get this man to treat me how he did while i was going through my treatments saludos Uh, so remission means she's cancer free yeah like there's no sign of cancer in her okay. body so well, first we're of all, so congrats happy to you god for bless your girl. <gasps> Love that's you. amazing Appreciate that you're watching this podcast yeah. all nice and healthy we're so happy for you 
But girl, let me tell you something. Look, what I've learned through having a lot of dogs and and just learning about animals and watching the Discovery Channel and Animal Planet, right, babe, is, this, babe, is that I've learned that different people, different animals have different ways to, of getting through them. Some people, like myself, I work well under pressure. Other people, let's take you, my brothers, my brothers, because they're a little bit more emotional, they do not work well under pressure. Just like Ozo. Ozo, he's never done anything bad in his life, but when I yell at him, he knows, oh shit, I, he ain't fucking around. Chai, on the other hand, even if I yell at her, I throw my slip at her, I freaking leave her outside all day to show her that, you know, bad dog, bad dog, she does not understand until... I give her positive reinforcement. What do I mean by that? Okay, you didn't bite Ozo. Good job, girl. You know, good job. Oh, you didn't try attacking the neighbor. Good job, Chai. Instead of being like, fucking Chai, get over here. No, good Chai. Okay. Come so, here, mama. With that being said, girl, you need to evaluate your man and be like, what type of husband, what type of human creature do I have in my house? Do I have the one that w works well under pressure? The one that doesn't? The one that doesn't? Porque hay esposos que no matter how many veces le estén chingando sus viejas, you know, you know, hace esto, no lo van a hacer, correct? Whereas, like, Blanca, she'll tell me, like, dude, I already fucking told you three times, <laughs> five times of trash. Like, when are you going to get, okay, okay, fuck, like, yeah, my bad. Like, I only work well under pressure. My mom, when I was studying for my uh, CDL license, she knew it was very good for me. You know, I would study here and there, you know, like cuando me diera mi gana. One day my mom's like, you are not coming into this house until you come back with your CDL permit. Boom, went and got it. My first try after I had failed like five times already. So what I'm trying to say is you look at your husband. I todo tontito viendo la tele así. You look at him and be like, what kind of man do I have? And then if it is the pressure route, then be like, hey, do I need to fucking get cancer again? In order for you to treat me like a queen? Is that what I need? Because give me the fucking pill and give it to me again if that's going to make you like snap back into reality. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Like, do I need to get cancer again for you to treat me well? And then if he's a pressure kind of, you, he'll be like, you know what? What the fuck? Like, oh shit. Like, yeah, yes, ma'am. Like, fuck. Like, that's true. Like, I, and make him feel bad for it. You know, that's not fair for you. You went through this traumatizing event and only through the traumatizing event do you have happy memories of it, you know? Yeah. And if he's not the pressure kind girl, then, you know, there's other ways, you know, uh, actually talking to him, maybe sitting down, like setting the ba the rules straight. Like, hey, I don't want to be with someone that just treats me good in the bad times. I want someone that in the good times, we're having a good time. Yeah. Does that make sense? Damn, was my advice babe, good or that was good I'm on a freaking hell. roll today, okay? You are. Give me a shirt that says, I'm a simp. <laughs> That's so funny because I was thinking the other day, um, we uh, Jonathan takes the trash out, right? Obviously, that's his job, right? And it's so funny because I don't know, like, I've, I've we've been together for so <laughs> long, but he still makes me like giggle, you know? Because okay, so he takes the trash out. Okay, first, let's go to the morning. Friday morning, the trash is coming early. So I'm like, babe, go take the trash out. So he is t wheeling it out. And then there's a shit ton of boxes that I get in the mail, okay? And then, um, so I'm like, oh, take these two. And you're like, he's like, babe, why don't you break them down? I'm like, no, babe, you, it's your job to break them down. He's like, well, I was like, because you're so strong and handsome, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so I let them go breaking them down. And then the the um, trash cans are out. And the first time, I'm like, no, me apoyas? And he's like, with what? And I was like, me apoyas con meter los botes de la basura al garage. And then, yeah, it kind of like goes. And then the next day, I don't tell him anything anymore, but they're still there. And then, like, the last day, what did I say? I was like, no me apoyaste, no me pudiste apoyar, verdad? And then he's like, oh, shit, with what? And I was like, with putting the trash cans in the garage. It comes in the house and puts them in. So it's like, that's crazy that you do work yeah. well under pressure. Yeah. And it's, like, it's so crazy, like, a lot of no que se compliquen la vida but they don't know yeah. they don't know that there's hack to men mm -hmm. that there's hacks to women just by learning their personality and the way they function does that make sense that is so crazy there's girls that because they're nice 
they're going to reflect that niceness onto their husband, maybe ask them nicely time and time again, like the girl with the flowers. I've asked my husband to. I've asked my boyfriend to give me flowers. He knows how much I love flowers. Blah, 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 blah. Have you tried being like, hey, motherfucker, like if you don't give me flowers, like I'm going to leave your ass, like just like that. No, you haven't. Okay, try it. Oh, boom. Jonathan, my husband, he literally gives me flowers every week. Like th that's how simple creatures we are as men. We just need sometimes like to be and that's why in in the and you might be asking yourself how do i do this how look at his mom if he has a mom and he loves his mom then there's your cheat code there's your cheat sheet look at how his relationship with the mom ah, cuando va a la casa, does his mom kind of regañarlo you, okay you know he was raised on the pressure side you know yeah that's freaking crazy because my babe. mom can't do pressure on my little brothers they'll start crying right there and then probably pee themselves but with me, no, yo no soy de cariños. Like, I never have. Like, if you ask me nicely to do something, I will never do it. <laughs> until. Me gusta que lo traten mal. Exactly. <laughs> that is so freaking funny, babe. I don't know if that works with girls, guys. So I don't know. At your own risk, <laughs> tell your girl, hey, porque no vas a lunch? A ver, ¿cómo te vas? Shit. Divorce the next day. Own, if That's you get so, a black eye. Babe, you just opened my... Why haven't you told me this before? Well, I feel like you have told me, but I always like forget about yeah. it because it just like all these scenarios are popping up because you know how you're so forgetful about wearing your ring sometimes because you take it off in the random spots. So I'm literally, guys, I used to be like, oh, babe, where's your ring? Oh, sorry, babe, I forgot it. But then one day I remember I was like, what? Are you so you're single? Are you single today or what? I'll take my ring off right now too. He's like, oh, fuck, let me turn around. <laughs> it's on the bedside table. <laughs> yeah <laughs> that is so guys jonathan yeah. just gave you the cheat i just gave you the cheat code to their tiktok watch yeah, history but. jonathan just gave you the cheat code to I their i just gave you the cheat code for a healthy relationship you just gave them the cheat code but for that's only if you're getting red flags yeah you know? i'm not saying like i don't have the incline to be like oh i know i can go through you know but it's like if she's if he, they're putting their phone down like this all the time then you know they're yeah. gonna go watch through their watch history tonight you know yeah. damn but this was a good podcast. Guys. That was such a good podcast. I hope we ended it on a light note for you. Yeah. You got to work safely to school. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's May. So for all our students out there, you got this. You know, ya le echaron ganas todo año. Finish strong. Finish, you know, study for those tests, for those final exams. And you got this. Even though you might never use algebra again in the, for the rest of your life, just finish school strong, okay? For your parents' sake, for your, you know, if they moved here as immigrants, for their sake, okay? Yep, you've already been to school for, what, eight months? ¿Qué les cuesta unas three more weeks? You got this. Bring your grades up. Make sure you end with a good note. If you're at work, hope that you're having a great time. Remember that work will replace you in two days. Mm -hmm. So don't take work home. Don't be, feel stressed. Leave all your stress at work. And I hope that you guys have a very good weekend. Yeah, guys. See you next Thursday. Bye. Later.